Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The pride runs deep for Service Academy. Air Force and Navy set the square off in one round in the battle for the Commander-in-Chief Trophy. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. supremacy and pride today. It's time for coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Here right, has the ball set how he wants it, and we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 33. Well, from that first time they walked on campus as a recruit to their freshman season, and now here they are as seniors taking the field for the final time. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And now he pitches it. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 40. Curry gains seven there on the speed option. That'll bring up second and three. Oh, yeah. And here we go again. Here we go again. Like six. Like six. And it Play action. Slides down to the ground. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. He laterals the ball. Tackle at the 48. That makes it second and ten. He's scrambling, heading for the corner. Decides to slide. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. They'll knock him down for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Brought down at the 14-yard line. First down. Touchdown, midshipman. converts the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, let's have a look at what's going on in the cap. Here are two teams that hate each other 365 days a year. And today was no different. The Huskies win it 27-24. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Navy to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Across midfield. 
inside the 30. He's knocked out of bounds around the 28-yard line. A huge special teams play. He was just one broken tackle away from tying this game up. But still, that is a great return. So the offense will come out for their first possession. Good field position for their first possession of the ball game. Let's see if they can capitalize off of it. And they make the stop at the 18-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 18. Ten yard left. He's tackled at the two yard line. First down. Defense trying to prevent any more damage. First and goal inside the five. Touchdown, Air Force. No need to pitch it as the quarterback's able to run it in. I'll tell you what, when you're a quarterback and the goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 28-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Air Force gets set to kick this one away. From the seven, he's out to the 30, and he's hammered down. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. They fall on it. yard line. It's second down. Nice gain as he works the right side. Dave takes the option and picks up around four. That makes it third and eleven. He wants it all. This one will fall incomplete. Hogan was the intended target on the play. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Anderson back deep to return. Anderson fields at the 31, and he's taken down to the 37-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. They'll bring him down at the 50. From the 50, it's first down. Good outside run there.
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Take a look at that injury on the sideline. Let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. We've played one. We're even at seven in this one. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. And he's leveled the seven yard line. Gain of two on the play. That brings up second and goal. They're at the seven. Second down. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. And they fall on the loose ball. play is the cause of the fumble. The offense put the ball on the ground, but give the defense credit for jumping all over it. A fumble ended this offense's last drive. Let's see as they come out on the field what they'll do this time around. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And he's tackled at the 18. himself and picked up about six yards. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Taken down around the 32-yard line. We'll give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. The Falcons quarterback down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means so much to this team. And right now, it looks like he's maybe going to be able to get back in the game. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, so we'll hope so. Makes it out to about the 49. He makes his way to about the 38. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Watch 36. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he hits him hard at the 39-yard line. A great tackle at the 44-yard line. A 
great defensive end in, in college football, just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. It seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. the 30. Makes it out to about the 33. Two minutes to go in the half. And they'll get him in the backfield. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. From their own 38 yard line. It's third down. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. They couldn't get the first down. Well, here they were hoping to get a few extra yards after the catch. Give the defense credit, they held him short. Hitman is the punter. Brought down at the 36-yard line. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far this week. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's on the run. He's taken off. And he dives forward. And he has a huge gain. Yeah, and I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. He's going to try and scramble. Dives for extra yardage. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. Navy's going to have to use their second time out of the half. First and 10. Ball on the 36. Scrambling around. Slides down. That brings us second and nine. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle at the 19. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. Good protection, and now he's on the run. Brought down right around the 18-yard line. yard line did you see how he looked that ball into his hands that's how you catch a football so they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends it's up and it's through the uprights let's go to the studio for this reese davis update you see San Antonio in action in San Antonio. The Roadrunners relentless with their rushing attack, and they score a touchdown. All locked up, two touchdowns apiece. All right, thanks, Reese. 
They can take a halftime lead by taking this one all the way back, folks. Anderson from the seven, looking for the corner. And he shoved out of bounds at the 33-yard line. So we've played two quarters. Navy in front, 10-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's it's fun. It's 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 living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a soccer player, please. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He'll return it from the six. And they push him out right around the 28-yard line. Navy's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 45. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. Blocking wasn't there, and down he went. inches away from picking up the first down. They bring him down in the backfield. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Navy has a three-point lead. Gets out to about the 22-yard line. He throws left. He 
gets hit out of bounds at about the 47 yard line. That makes it second and two. Makes it out to about the 29. Now he pitches it. He's pushed out of bounds at the 26 yard line. third down now and they're going to need about four he scrambled and they get the sack I think that one's on the offensive line they've got to do a better job of holding their blocks or else his quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game Navy is up a field goal. He's under pressure. And down he goes around the 21-yard line. And the defense comes through. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And now he pitches it. They go to the left for a nice game. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Carrying skills by the big fullback. If he can do more of that, this offense will become even more potent. They'll bring him down right around the 40. Call it a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 40 yard line. Second down. Got some open field. Nice run to the outside. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. That makes it fourth and four. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 10-7, Navy. This final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Hogan is back deep to return. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Well, here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game. And every possession is going to count from here on out. 
Navy holds a field goal lead. He's into the open field. He's at midfield. Makes it out to about the 43. First down. From the 43-yard line. First down. He tackles him for a loss. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. big play by the offense and I got to tell you as a defense coordinator you're blitzing and you're taking some chances and it's one thing to blitz and to get to the quarterback and everybody high fives and gets excited but if you blitz and you don't get home as they say which means hitting the quarterback you're leaving your defensive backs one on one in coverage and if you don't get to that quarterback and you're facing a talented quarterback like this man right here you're going to pay for it. and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. is up and it is good let's get the latest now from reese davis the tigers came into the game ranked seven they're now bungee jumping and the court's gonna break and for kent state they've won two straight and for williams he threw for more than 200 yards kent state pulls it out by a field goal Meanwhile, let's take a look at some scores from around the country. We've been watching this thing all day long. The Bobcats unleash their aerial assault and find Pater for a touchdown. And for Samuel, he's tossed a couple of touchdown passes. Locked up at 24. 13 to seven game here. Anderson, and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the nine. Tackle made at the 27. I tell you what, this is something Pollock would love. Crunch time and a defensive battle. Right, he's sitting back at that studio loving this. Two defenses that are really imposing their will on these two offenses. Maybe they can even score to help out one of these offenses win the game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And they got him for a loss. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. It's second and 13. Ball on the 24-yard line. Now 
now he's scrambling. Tackle around the 37 yard line. He's scrambling. Brought down around the 47 yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. He's going to try and scramble. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Big, big play to come up with a first down. They're staying alive. This one looks like it's coming down to the very end. He's on the run. Bumbo! He picks it up. And they make the stop at the 45. Air Force just took their first time out. From the 45-yard line. Second down. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Under a minute left in the game. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. And now he's got room to run. He's at the 20. He's finally tackled at the 13-yard line. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drop. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. He's wrapped up for the sack. Loss of two yards on the play. Easy, easy, easy. That'll bring up second and 11. Rally! The spike will stop the clock. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Now he tries to buy some time. They bring the quarterback down. And so now the ball's turned over on downs. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Air Force is out of timeout. Navy is up by six. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. should do in our final tally of this one navy 13 air force seven as we wrap this game up kirk what final thoughts do you want to share navy came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game they should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.